And tonight we are hearing the 911 calls after a helicopter crashed into a canal in southwest Miami-Dade. And police say the two people on board were a father and his daughter. He died. She survived. Nico Clemens is live outside the hospital where the daughter remains tonight. Nico. You too. Everyone who called 911 yesterday, you can hear the uh, concern and fear and worry in their voice as they try to relay information as quickly as possible. And in one of those 911 calls, you can hear the daughter in pain and crying for her father. But they apparently they can't find her father. Desperate calls for help. No, y el agua no nos deja verlo. Yes, we can't find it anymore. It sunk down and it does, the water does not let us see it. 911 calls from people who witnessed or learned that a helicopter crashed into a canal in southwest Miami-Dade. They're saying that the helicopter went down somewhere by Chrome. Police say Clement Sanzuri was inside with his daughter, Jordan. The helicopter crashed in a canal on southwest 122nd Street and 184th Avenue Wednesday. Police say witnesses saw the daughter swim to safety. Is the person out of the helicopter? Una mujer, sí. One woman, yes. At one point, you can hear her frantic on the phone with the 911 dispatcher. Can't find him? No, I'm not. I can't find him. I can't find him. Okay, all right. They're already on the way. Already have police on the way, okay? Miami-Dade fire rescue divers pulled her father out of the water and performed CPR, but he wouldn't make it. A day later, crews removed the wreckage from the water, and TSB will now piece together what went wrong. The president and founder of Miami Dance Project told NBC6 and Zuri was their landlord for many years. In a statement, she said... Our heartfelt condolences go out to the Zanzuri family. Clement, a revered businessman and advocate for the arts, leaves behind a profound legacy in our community. His presence will be sorely missed by all. A family forever changed. It's, it's, it's a pilot and his daughter. That helicopter went down about three miles west of the airport here, Executive Airport, Miami Executive Airport. So NTSB, they're going to look at everything from flight track data to maintenance records of the pilot's background. They're also going to interview witnesses and search for any sort of surveillance or doorbell cameras. But of course, uh, they're going to, or they are rather, detectives are talking with the daughter. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Nico Clemens, NBC6 News.